Well, all of us are here to either get an AA degree or transfer to a university. And that's why today I want to talk to you about the University of Autonomous University of Barcelona. Um, uh, first of all, I want to tell you about like a little bit the history. Uh, it was like it was found in the city of Cerdonia del Valle in Barcelona. It was established after the Civil War in 1968, and it was established because um, uh, they wanted like the young people to be to have more education after and like and own their own businesses. Um, uh, yeah. Um, but the question that you might have is like, why are you t not telling me? Maybe you are like, want me to go over there or what? And then, well, the first thing that you guys will like ask is, do they? Do they offer my major in the university? Well, I don't, since I don't know like what's your major, they they offer 78 undergraduate program and 125 master degrees, um, 10, 75 doctor programs, and 679 continuation education um, programs. And another question is that. Do they offer the courses in English or Spanish or Catalan, which is the language they um, speak over there? Well, in that university, all business courses are, it's, uh, it's your choice that you can pick either English or Spanish. Uh, but if you're taking like another courses that it's not related to business, they give you a free course, um, which is 40 hours, and they they'll it is for free, so you can learn the language and have like better better on um, understanding of whatever they say. And well, the size of the school it's, it's similar to the universities over here. It's um like 28. 1,283 undergraduate students um, and 4,620 graduate students. There's like um, a lot more and well, it comes out to be like around um, 55, over 55, 55,000 students around there. So which is it's not a big school because um, they have like over 5,000 staff and <coughs> staff and but the best um, the best thing of the university is that it has four campuses which is like was really really good for me I don't know for you guys but not that big but not that small and the university is at Irvin, which is I mean, like it's close to whatever you like. If you like the beach or you like the floor for it, and it's the the university has um, 81 acres of just water, so you can just go and kick it over there. And what so it's a co-ed student, so everyone can go. So it's a public school, and if you ha if you need a privacy, well, they have um, hotels over there. Um, they they also they also have like all kind of stores, um, like food stores, <coughs> clothing stores, or like anything you want uh, you want to buy over there, you can. You don't have to go out to the town or to a city. You can just buy it over there in the university. And well, that's a little bit about that university. But the thing is that right now, you might ask that, how do I get there? How do I get admitted to it? Well, some of the requirements is to take a, a test, which is called T-O-E-L. Um, 
it's basically a language test that in a paper the the minimum score you can get is 213 out of 150 and which is in a paper test and in a computer test it's 79 out of 80 and also you have to have a 3.0 GPA so it's basically the same things as the university over here uh, but uh, in order to go over there you have to do like you have to tell the government that you're going over there to just study and everything. Uh, but you you should um you might ask too that um uh, how do I pay it? Well, there's mostly scholarships that goes over there that takes you. Sometimes you have to take loans too, and well, it's basically that I have to be your own money that over here. And I have one example of that for a person that went there. It was my uh, Spanish teacher in high school. She went um, for a semester over there. She took well, Spanish because she was majoring in that. And, and that. Uh, and she told me that it was a pretty good school. Like it's not that big, not that small. It's good for like people who like to be in the beach and everything. And so, so therefore, if you're uh, planning to go like far away from home, might as well just go to another country, which is Europe, and just have fun with it. So, Allison, what did you think? Um, I thought the intro was a little, like, a lot short and kind of weak. Um, and the thing to get a little lost a little, but I thought it had a lot, you had a lot of information about the school, and I learned a lot about the school. And you were kind of quiet and mumbling a little bit, so I didn't catch the name of the school. But I still learned a lot. All right, well, I, the attention device is okay. It's not uh, particularly interesting, but it's uh, there's a good common ground sort of approach that you're taking there. I know what your subject is, although if Allison's having trouble making it out, and that's the whole point of what you're talking about is uh, talking about the university, you want to make sure that you're careful about that. Um, it sounded like there were two parts to the name, and I got University of Barcelona, but you know what? I w I've got the assistance of the title written here on the evaluation form. So maybe that's how I knew it. Um, there's not really a preview of what the supporting points are going to be, but it was pretty clearly organized around a series of questions that you're using. And I think that you want to tell us what those questions are going to be. Now, the answers to the questions are not always as thorough as they could be. For instance, right at the end, you talk about uh, financing your education there, and you basically say scholarships and loans. I could have said that without ever having heard of this university. How do you pay for your education? Well, you go scholarships and loans. Uh, you know that would apply to just about. How do you, you know, you know I don't know. How do how do you buy a new car? Scholarships and loans. I mean that, that that there's not any development of that particular point. You've got a little bit of description about the university, and to me it sounds like. This is an informative speech about the university, why it's better to go here, what we're going to get that is different, um, why the experience is worth uh, the, you know, traveling uh, across the world to get to. 
I don't get much of that. In, instead, at the end, uh, I get one person's testimony, your high school teacher's testimony, says, yeah, it's a pretty good school, not too big, not too small. And I'm going, well, there's a ringing endorsement. I need something that sells me this a little bit more. Uh, by the way, you say there are 55,000 students there. That sounds like a pretty damn big school to me. Uh, I'm not sure that it's you know, relative to what other schools you're talking about, but I, you mentioned the four campuses. You, you tell us a little bit about some of the uh, appealing points there that it's kind of a place unto itself. It's located near uh, places that people might enjoy. Um, you know, so, so there is some persuasive element there, and I, I do think at the end you, you kind of suggest that this is something that people should consider.